me. Right. Hi guys, this is Gypsy Moth Breedings. Um, this is my first live breeding I'm doing on um, YouTube. Um, your name again? Sorry. Anna Cook. This is Anna. Um, hi Anna, nice to meet you. Right, how I work is um, I'll pick up on different things. So I'll see pictures um, that I'll get like within my third eye. I'll also get senses of people. I've got someone stood behind me at the minute, I can feel them. Um, I'll also pick up things like numbers, I'll be able to go to like grave sites, cremations, um, if they want something they'll tell me they want it, if, it's, uh, if, if they feel it's important to give you a message, they'll give you a message, if it's something to do with your future they'll give me that as well, so we'll just run with it and sort of go with what comes through. Um, I will say that I have got um, a couple of people at the minute that are in, I've got one that's crisis apparitions and there may be stuff that comes through that may be related to them. But as I'm talking to you, if it means nothing to you, then just say, no, that means nothing to me. And I can say, right, OK, I know that's to do with someone yeah. else. I've got two ladies, basically, that I'm working with. I'm not working with them as such. I'm work sort of like they're connected to me on a spiritual level. Um, one of them, because they've contacted me via my Facebook and they're waiting for a reading. So I've yeah. got their spirit very anxious at the minute very much wanting to come through so i've had like a couple had a reading a couple of days ago to which this person did step in so this may step in um and also like some other things that may come through as i said if it's irrelevant to you just say no that's not for me and i can say right sorry that's not yeah. for you know and we'll work it out between us um i've picked up some things this morning and one thing i do is basically i've started writing stuff down and i also pick up on Things like imagery, so I'll get things like from higher power sent to me um, as messages, but they'll be given as a subtle message or it may be a representation of something to do with them. Um, straight away, the lady, I, I've said to you I've had a lady with me all morning and what I picked up was mum. So this would either be your mum or it would be as a nan that would have been as close as a mum. So it would have been someone that would have brought you up but had, would have had a very strong motherly figure, so she would have been very much in your life. When this woman was coming through, um, I was feeling very dizzy, very sick. Um, I felt long-term treatment. Um, when I asked about cancer, I did get the word cancer, but I also got lympho, so, and I got pain underneath like the arm here. So it would either be breast or it would be lymphoma, which would be the lymphobes underneath the armpit. Um, were you meant to be fetching someone with you? Because sometimes it isn't always relevant to you, but I pick up it maybe for someone that was meant to be coming with you or someone <coughs> you've spoken to. Somebody so. wanted to come with me. There was somebody who wanted to come with me, <coughs> but it know, wouldn't be to do with him. Do it you know if his mother's passed? No, because it's me. <laughs> it was my son who wanted to come with me. Right, so it, wasn't, okay. it wasn't to do with him. Okay. Um, unfortunately, not either of my... Uh, you see, my, my paternal grandmother I was very close to, but... She, she didn't have cancer, so right, okay. Um, but she did have stroke, right? So okay, well, this, was the this, this I mean, the, the what I pick up is, is this condition. side, but I pick up something mainly here. So, if you're saying heart condition, then that would make perfect yeah. sense. She may have had um, cancer towards the end, they wouldn't have known. When I mean, I actually did put cancer, maybe, and yeah. question mark, I, because. As I said, because I'm working with two other people, even though they're not working with me yet, because of the fact they're in line, mm. their spirits, unfortunately, will be impatient yeah. and they will come through and they will want, you know, yeah. they'll it's just a possibility come through anyway. She was, she was just dying. They wouldn't have looked for anything else. She was when, when your mum passed, I, I'm going to keep... My, mom, I'm gonna, like my paternal grandmother. Your paternal grandmother. When, yeah. when I'm going with it, I'm going to say it as it's given to me. Yeah. Um, I'm still going to go with the dizziness that the, yes. I get medication with her. So I don't yeah. feel that when she had this, she didn't pass straight away because I feel with this woman that, because I didn't know where I was. I was washing up literally before you got here and all of a sudden I felt confused. I didn't know where I was. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't remember my name. I sort of like was dizzy. I felt a lot of medication. I felt it took a while for this lady to pass. It, it may have been that something happened here, but she didn't pass automatically. But I feel with this lady that everything went with it. So I feel that she would have been probably coherent near at the end. She wouldn't have been able to talk to you. She tried. Um, oh, I do apologise. I don't put that on silent. Do apologise, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
the, when I, as I was talking to her, I was like, you'll have to br come back from this because the way that she made me feel is I just wanted to be like this all the time, yep. like, as if I was dizzy. So I don't know whether or not this may have been medication that this was causing true. her to be dizzy or if it was the actual symptom that yep. she had. Um, I was going to say senile dementia then, but I don't think it is senile dementia. I think that something else went bang, so I don't know whether or not it caused She's had a previous for one. something. So two. Right, yeah, okay. Right, that, that would make perfect sense then. But she wasn't alone. She said to me, I wasn't alone. So she, I, show, I get shown family members, all the family members yeah, around her. And I also get shown that she got collected. So for me, like I feel that, I want to say hospital, but I want to say hospice. <clears throat> but it's really weird because when I'm asking her to take me to what she's showing me, she's showing me a bed with a window behind her. There's a lot of light shining through. But I see a lot of angels around her. Whoop, as I said that, and I've just tapped off the angel wings. <laughs> Uh, which I've uh, picked up. So, yeah. Oh, and I've actually, I didn't realise, underneath that, I'd actually wrote heart and chest. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, yes. So, so cancer, maybe, heart and chest. So, I know yeah. that it was something to do with this. Um, I will go to these, actually, because the fact that, well, I want to get them out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are sweating. Like. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, Straight away, the representation, I basically have had this hung in the kitchen for a long time, but for some reason it kept standing out to me. So this would either be a message of someone saying, I'm going to get my wings and then letting you know they got their wings. Or if not, I would say that what I'm getting shown is you're into a lot of angels. So I see a lot of little sort of trinket things that you keep about as representation yeah. of someone by angels. So I don't know who it is that's close to you, but I know it's, it's important for them to say to you that they're aware of this, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I don't know whether or not you would have bought something with angels on for one person yeah. or whether or not you collect angels of all sorts and they're telling you it's that they're all aware. Fairies, actually. Is it fair? But, See, for me, it's, with it being the wings, I don't know, are fairy wings the same as angel wings? Wings. Well, wings. Wings are wings. Are wings, wings so they, they vary, yeah. don't they? It depends on the artist's representation or the, the person's representation. Yeah, really, yeah. They? So it could be all sorts of different wings. But yeah, for some unknown reason, they stood out to me. Like, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, sometimes it means nothing to me, but it may mean something more to you if that no, makes sense yeah, I'm going to put those down another thing I picked up is the saging stick um, fuck which sorry you put it in a blue and white container to me means that you're sorry. in need of actual a lot of protection around you at the minute and I actually did I'll write this down I wrote it down protection needed around you also small child illness and asthma so you were saying about fetching your boy with you. Did your boy suffer with asthma? My eldest boy did when he was little. Right, okay. This may be something... That, I mean, it, it, I get a lot of this at this time of the year because of it being winter. And it's that, coming back that to child time. may need to be protecting himself where it comes to the chest, Hi. keeping himself warm. Yeah. Um, I also pick up... Because of the fact that I've picked up illness, it could be... I mean, there's a lot of serious flus going around at the minute, so yeah. it might be a warning for him to okay. be told... You know, you need to make sure you get your flu vaccination. And he wasn't also... well a couple of weeks ago, and he said he'd go to the doctor to get it sorted out, and I kept nagging him, but he's moved away from home. <laughs> right, okay. Do you know if he's still ill, and do you know if there's an he effect keeps saying, in his asthma? Back and then because going, I'm getting it's, it's around, He said it's a band around here. Right. He, it's not... He, we thought it was a gastric thing, but... Well, I'm be picking up because asthma, asthma, because I, well, oh, yeah, I'm asthmatic, asthmatic myself as well. Yeah. So as I'm actually saying that, I'm feeling breathless. Mm -hmm. So I know with him, he must be feeling breathless yeah, at the minute. Yeah, smoking 20 a day, I'll do that to him. Right, okay, <laughs> fair enough. You need to tell him that he needs to take care of this. When I yeah. say reduce, when I'm asking, should I say reduce down smoking, I'm getting he wouldn't do that. He's been <laughs> told he wouldn't do it. <laughs> what I'm getting shown is, is he needs to then take other measures to like mm -hmm. keep an eye on his chest because it will affect him bad. I also pick up with this child, I want to say like pneumonia or something like that. So there's been something that he's had has, as a child that would have caused maybe scarring and that with this, which is why he's prone now to it maybe coming back more than others like yeah do you use the white sage because um, i get representation I, to the sage as well I've, I've, I, I, I have in the past but not recently well maybe it's something i think that you need to do because okay. when um it said protection needed around you also around a small child with illness and asthma for me, when I picked it up, I felt that there's been a lot of ups and downs. Like, do you know He's what not I mean, a small recently? child, but he always will be to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
because of the fact that I pick up that there's a lot of protection for me I would say to you to actually go and do some um I also pick up you, you do readings as well but I've seen cards so I don't know whether or not you've had a card reading in your home or if you've done a card reading with someone I in your home read. but what I I'm getting is course. is because you're not smudging you're not protecting yourself I had them recently these shifts that right. you've had are because energies are coming in and you're not cleansing around you after so you need yeah. to make sure that smudging is definitely I haven't up. I didn't cleanse as often as I should have done when I did do it but I haven't read for a while why did you choose a blue and white container to just be to... fair I don't know it was just something that something I had available at the time but is it what you do yours in then? no it's a, my, my grandmother was a blue and white obsessive collector right that's why I went fuck do you know what I would never I never ever have picked this up for anyone else well, so she, that, that she's obsessive. Me, she was obsessively blue and white. We're talking willow pattern everywhere. When I said to you about people yeah. fetching representations, yeah. I picked up that and I literally went straight upstairs and yeah, picked that, up that. So fair. these then I would say are relevant together. So I, I, there's some representation oh, I know. Uh, it might be the gold because she had a lot of gold as well. Right. She loved gold. And that would make perfect sense to me then. Perfect that, that's sense. that's why yeah. I went, fuck blue and white. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Okay. So. For me, that's her giving you clarification then, like, do you know what yeah, I mean? If she's saying the gold and the blue and white. Uh -huh. And it's quite ironic as well, because my granddad used to actually collect the willow pattern as well. Yeah. Although I had a massive big tea set he gave me. I went over a bump to take it to my friend's eyes and smashed it. Oh, <laughs> no, ouch. Um, one thing I did have come through, and this is one of the things I'm not sure about, because the fact that... Um, I have got someone at the minute that I'm worried about on this and I have got a lady that's dealing with me with something on this but I had thoughts of su suicide for days not sure if friends so I'm not sure if there's a connection to you with someone with suicide I just want a yes or a no yes right okay I also pick up female um, and it's quite weird because whilst I picked up this I also got the word knife and I also got the word murder but I got question mark with both of them. So I don't know whether or not this would have been someone that would have been connected to someone that was violent. And this is why they may have taken their own life. Whether or not they actually took their own life with a knife. This might be what they're showing me. I want to say something round the throat. But the fact that I'm getting representation to wrist and throat. I would say this wasn't the person's first time. I pick up a few times. It's mad because I pick up male and female with this, but I feel the female. I feel the female being an influence, a stronger person, and I want to say that there's connection between him and this girl on why this situation happened. Was it a gentleman that actually passed of suicide? Or? She no, it was the girl. It was a okay. It, it, it was a friend of mine tried to kill herself the day before yesterday. With okay, an so this is why I've been having suicide. Her for husband days, has then. also previously tried to kill himself. Um, okay. he tried, he did tried exhaust fumes. Right, okay. I shouldn't be saying this really. Well, you need to keep an eye on this person, and I've just got someone stood right behind me, and I've got chills around my back, and I've also got someone wanting to cuddle me, so I feel that this person's needing a lot of support still at the minute. Right. The fact that I get knife, the fact that I feel hanging, there's still intent here. Yep. Very much intent. I feel a very unhealthy relationship. If this person hasn't already passed, I, I'm... <sighs> She's prone to unhealthy relationships. She this them. person needs a lot of help. And the thing oh. is, is as much as the, you, you know, she's, I would want to say you being a friend, but I feel that she's got many friends around her. Because when I'm saying it, I'm getting stopped as just one. I'm getting told, no, there's more than one. There's many. Um, what I'm getting told is, is that she's getting too much information and not all healthy information. So there may be those that have got good intent and there's those that have got bad intent. It may be those that have got bad intent that have got to the stage where, do you know what, fuck it, if you're going to do it, do it. Yeah, probably. Do you know what I mean? And this is what may push her to continue yeah. to do it. This woman, I'm getting told straight away, needs someone to report it to the doctor's surgery and it needs to be done on a they, professional they know, level. They know so. she was sectioned only a few weeks ago. Well, she needs to be, it needs to be told again. Well, they know because she went to the hospital the day before yesterday. So she was, you know. But what happens at the doctor's doesn't always get relayed back no, to she was sectioned the, the hospital. hospital in September and she was in hospital 
So they, they should technically, they should have been. Well, I'm, have been I'm picking up that not all not parties are being care. told what the other people right. are doing okay. and other person. Because I was surprised she wasn't resectioned. I do see this person succeeding. And I do get chills up my back when I'm saying it. Yeah, so I is. know that this person definitely needs... She's self-destructive. She needs help on a professional level. There's nothing that anyone can do for her on a normal level. I've got for days, and I have been suicidal now for about three or four days. And as the days have gone on, I've actually felt it worse. So I know that if I'm picking up on this with her, that what she's saying and what she's doing are two different things. And I also get with her stockpiling. So somewhere she's got a load of tablets that she's been putting away. That's what she tried to and get I, the other day. Right, okay. So that's what she, that was well, what this is what I'm getting is she stockpiled. She put a lot of stuff uh -huh. away. And I also get shown a bottom drawer. And I want to go under the bottom drawer and I get a unit that's got two holes underneath it. So there's like a drawer unit that would have archways. Uh -huh. You need to go under there because there's stuff under there that she's not keep, that she's not saying about. If not, she's taken the drawer out and she's hiding it under there. But I get the very bottom drawer on a big drawer unit. Um, God, that could be anywhere in her house. She's, she's, not, with, the she's not with this chap no more, though. The one that tried to commit suicide if they are they're not together at the minute they're separated they, they could be either they constantly it's constantly right okay they're well, married, is, but right, they're, okay. he's always leaving and going back and leaving well and i what i get is is that this is a lot of her reason of what's going on is Please the fact that see this. <laughs> she's basically following what he's doing like do you know what i mean he's got a lot of negative energy around him when i tune into him i want to drink i want i smell alcohol I don't know whether or not it may be someone that like used to drink alcohol and doesn't know more. If not, he may be the type of person that when he gets down and he gets into the state of getting into suicidal thoughts and that he may drink before actually mm. doing things. I believe so. Um, I know a lot of people that do that. They only drink on days that they get down and then I find that that's the path. Yeah. The drink is normally the path that takes them down and down and down. And the reason being is, is it because it, they're actually thinking from a drink point of view, not a straight yeah. point of view. <coughs> Have they been married about seven years? Because um, I get the number seven with seven. them. Seven. <coughs> Don't know. No, they've been married longer than that. A lot longer. If not, then I would say that the trouble started happening about seven years ago. Possibly, I wasn't in contact. I, I had a, a, I've known them for fifteen years, but I had a, a period of. Oh, Have you been back in contact with her seven years? No, I've been back in contact with her for only a year, right, but I had okay. probably about a seven-year gap of not speaking to her very much. Right. Okay. Because I know that the seven years, years so possibly, is definitely. So it was possibly around this. about that period of time that I didn't talk to her. This murder that comes up here. Is he violent towards her? Her father was. Right. Okay. And do you know if there was a murder within her family? I don't, but they could have been. Quite possibly wouldn't surprise me. Right, okay. The fact that I get knife and murder, to me, says that there may have been something that's happened in the past. <laughs> that it may have been attempted murder on her with a knife. But there's definitely a lot of she, issues. She's been violently attacked several times by she has, people. Right. Yeah. Well, the, this is what I pick up, is there's a lot there's been of several things instances with her. Several different people that, friends. Yeah, this is course. what I pick, pick up. I don't see the boyfriends, and I don't see the... Well, I say boyfriend, you know, broader sense of the word. Yeah, yeah. Is there also rape around this girl as well? Yeah. And I also got the name earlier, Michelle. Now, I'm not good with names, but... It's not close to her name, but I do have... <laughs> so I, I picked up the name Michelle when I was with the lady that was coming uh, through. So um, no, not in relation to her. I know several Michelles, but not in relation to right. Okay. To Nana or I or, got um, name Michelle, and then right next through next door to it, I got lady came through strong. Now, for this lady to come through strong, it may have may be someone that's actually trying to get a message to Michelle. Possibly. So, have you got a Michelle that her mother would have passed the <sighs> spirit, do you know? And she may have had cancer. Um. And for me to refer to the cancer and not the heart and the chest, I would say that it's more than likely that there was a mother figure that's passed. 
No, I if don't even maybe maybe that the mother's name was Michelle and she passed. No, not to my knowledge. Not to your knowledge. Not always do people acknowledge what you say. I can't not say it because no. it's being given to me. And if yeah. it's being given to me, I'm supposed to give it to I you. I will think on, on that one. Yeah, a lot of people do go away and then um, they'll say, no, no, that's relevant to me. I don't know what you're on about. And then what I'll get is, is I'll get a message two or three weeks later or two or three days and like, saying, oh, oh I, it makes perfect no, sense. I'll like, think you know on I mean? that one. So, I am gonna, you know, I am gonna leave that with you. And when I say it, oh, okay, I'm getting presents all at the back of me. Is this something you experience quite a lot, like the cold shivers? I want to say walking over my grave, but I don't get the whole feeling. Like when you go, oh, someone's walking no. over my grave, you get it all over. I don't get that. I get coldness in the shoulders yeah. and the back. And I also well, want I to say with you, you, you're always saying you're cold as well. So even if you're in well. the most hottest of places, you'll go, God, I'm freezing cold, I'm freezing cold. <laughs> I pick up very much with you that you've got a lot of psychic gift yourself. You, your senses are quite open. Are so. <laughs> Sorry, talking to someone on camera. <laughs> um, we've got a friend. I've got a friend in the room called Laurie. She's hiding at the back there, bless her, so that uh, me and I can have a conversation with last night. Funny the readings with. Well, I mean, if you want, if that is relevant and you want to talk about it, like carry now, on from it. Yeah, I'm happy if you don't. Yeah, 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 that's yeah? cool. Yeah. Um, I'm getting shown the card, so it's something you need to go back into. So I would say that that's a conversation that you've had recently. And yeah. I also get shown money with you as well, and I get shown workshops. So I know that there is prospect with you in moving forward with this. Have you been doing workshops? So when I get shown workshops, to me, that would be people would come to your house and they'd give you 20 quid. No. So if this isn't something that's been done, this is something that you need to be doing. I, I have so actually it's... gone, I've decided to go back into tarot and I've bought myself a new set of a new deck and etc right okay so and have they got uh, fairies on the front because i want to say angels but they've i don't seen know yet because i haven't actually received them i had to order them right um, okay. so i don't know yet <laughs> you'll have to let me know because i know they're called angel something because i see the word i angel looked at the angel there something. is a there is a set called angel and i looked at them and i thought about them right okay they were but i actually ended up buying a an original the set like a 1900 based set so i don't know yet the pack that are coming is going to have something with wings i want oh, to say kind angel of, a, a kind of a, the dragonfly on the front or something. Is a kind of, it's like a circle with like the like that. So, so that's why I'm saying just possibly, the wings yeah. and that would, that kind of shape. That would that make yes, yeah, yeah, not dissimilar to yeah, yeah. So the wings are ne very necessary around you. They're very important around you. To me, that would be someone saying that they got their wings. Now, normally, if I get someone that says that they got their wings, it would have been someone you would have spoken to before their passing. And they would have been very aware of their passing. You would have been there up to the minute of their passing. And they would have said to you something like, I can't wait to get my wings. So I know it's important for you to she know the, the person you were with. She could properly because she couldn't speak properly. Right, okay. She always spoke to me. Well, this is what I got at the when I was in there. I literally, I just went all dizzy. And I was like, ah, nah, 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 nah. and I just got medication. Like, do you know what I mean? And I also mm -hmm. just got... For me, when my nan had her strokes, she went senile, but I didn't pick up senile. No, I picked up more doped up. Yeah. So either she, she was given a lot of medication or she was completely out of it. There was something that shut everything off. She, was, she used to try and talk to me. She was trying to form the words. But she couldn't. And looking at and going... And that, that, right. And she couldn't say it. Right, and I okay. had to walk. I was pregnant. And I, had to, I couldn't... Well, I would say it. that... This is what she may have been trying to tell you, and it's, it's, you can, I, you know, it, it's weird because when I see it, I'm I'm asking her to show me. <sighs> see, I want to say when I'm asking hospital hospice, I'm getting told no, I, it doesn't feel right. But wherever the bed was, how I see it is there's a bed and there's a window, not very wide behind it. The light's shining through. And I see lots of people stood round her. And I know that she was trying to say that there was people there with her. As well she as saying hospital, but that she, she, she got her wings like. My, my, yeah. <clears throat> she would have been in a room on her own. She wouldn't have been in a... Because when I'm, when I'm with her, I'm in a room on my own. And there's a small window behind her. And there's light shining through on top no, of her. No, but the, the way the cubicles were set up, they'd look like that. Right, okay, so that would make sense. She was sense. there at the window. She right, was there okay, the window, so that the way makes the cubicles sense. were set up, 
it would have looked like her own separate room. She said, I couldn't believe how many people came to get me. So the, you must have lots of family that's over the other side. Oh, because Nico for came her, down. That's her, son, her favourite son came down. Right, OK. <laughs> he decided to... to, to bend see, I bend. don't see just one. No, we were I there see at one point. many people there one point. around so there was her son, my dad as well. His, um, is this on the day that she passed? Would everyone have been around Within that period of time, then? within 24 hours of her passing, yeah. Right, OK. We all saw her at some point. Then I, for this, then would make want it to be acknowledged that she's acknowledging that. Okay. Like, do you know what I mean? That everyone... It's weird, though, because she gives me two representations. She shows me people being all around the bed at one time, not separate it times. Come to, we, we were but, there all at one point, not within 24 hours of her passing. Within that previous week, we were all there together at one point. Right, one OK. Ago. So, but most of the time, it was sort of one person. On would that have been the time, maybe the time that you last properly spoke to her? Would that have been the last time that she spoke to her? Last time she was able to cohere. To, I, I was aware of her bit trying to communicate with me, yeah. Right, OK. So that makes sense. Because yeah. uh, she's, for me, she's like, but I need her to know. I need her to, do you know what I mean? She won't leave me until it's important what she's trying to get through and even when i'm talking to you i can feel that i'm struggling i don't know if you notice in it like do you know what i mean but i'm like mm, yeah you've out. got another set so, so i know that like for her like do you know what i mean that it's important so if it's that important i'm glad she knew <coughs> i'm glad she was aware that we cared sometimes she thought she didn't <laughs> think that we did with that well, she keeps referring to that window and i don't know why there's a man stood next to the window, and when I'm sh at being asked, I'm seeing loads of people, but it's important that this man... Uh, had her husband passed before yeah. her? Because yeah. this could be who she's showing me. What? Any idea what he looks like? All I'm getting is really tall and slender gentleman. I'm not picking up anything That wouldn't more. have been her husband. And the reason I'm saying it is because... You know when the light shines through a window? Yeah, yeah, you can And see. you're sort of like, you know, you can't quite make it out... I don't see an actual physical being. I see all other physical beings, but this one being, I'm seeing the light reflecting through. I hate saying being. I, I want to say spirit, but I, I want, the person's making me say I being. believe her father was tall. Right, okay. <laughs> it could have been him. Okay, because it's difficult for me to say, because as this light's shining through the window, I know that he's stood well, he stood next tall. to her. He was tall for that period of time. Because obviously it would have been like, a, what, 100 years ago, you know. Right, but, okay. So th he was tall for that period of time. It's mad, because when I'm asking to see it, I'm seeing it as a spiritual being, but like... It could also be my dad. <laughs> my dad, who was alive, but he used to stand at the window. So would he have look, was he kept looking out the window? Because I get Possibly. representation of him looking at grass had had green yeah. outside. But uh, it's difficult because she, where she would have been confused, she's making me confused. Yeah. And she's showing me bits. She's very confused. But I'm not seeing all of it. Like, But I'm seeing, like as I said, the window. I see her bed. I see a gentleman stood here. But it's mad. When I look, I see all physical bodies. So everyone in their human body. And there's one person stood to the left hand side of her next to the window that to me looks like light. Yeah. So I don't see them as no, so it looks a more completely like a, body. A, I, a I see mass. like a silhouette. Yeah, yeah. like a mask. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great way to explain it. Um, it could, it, I mean, he wasn't tall, my grandfather, but doesn't mean that he doesn't come across that. Did she have a respirator way. as well? Like some uh, of them have to breathe. Varied, varied, depending on. Because I'm asking her, is there anything else? And she said, no, I wasn't plugged up to nothing. Not I only no. had something no, to no. breathe. So I don't feel for her. No. I feel for her that it, the decision was already made when she'd had the second stroke. So I feel that it, you were told then, like, she's not going to... Oh, they wanted to keep her alive and keep her alive and keep her alive. Right, okay. They, just, they this... were constantly trying to feed her and force feed her and she didn't want She it. didn't want, you know. She wanted I, to go. That's what I get told is she didn't want it and I get shown that... She wanted someone to fucking die. <laughs> because I, what I do is I ask them to take me to the place of passing and she takes me to the bed and when I'm saying to her, like, did you have any medication and this, that and the other, she shows me nothing. No. So like, there's nothing around her. There's nothing no. plugged in. There's no, no, when there was no bits and bobs no. nearer the end. Like no. there definitely wasn't anything. The the most I think that she shows me is that she was happy with, and that's something to help her breathe. So I know with this with her, it would have been something that she did struggle yes. with. Yeah. Um, she may have actually struggled with it in her main passing life. 
is she buried on top of someone? Because she's just took me straight to a graveyard and then she's put me on top of someone. So not to my knowledge, but it's perfectly possible in that old graveyard because <laughs> she's in the old grave. In the you know yeah, an old grave. She was no so hold on a second. You don't know. She if... no hold on, hold on, hold on. No, she was cremated. She ended up being cremated. Has she been scattered on top of someone? I think they were all scattered in the same place. Because I get shown being on scattered. top of someone. Yeah, so the, for the, me, the burial a... is there's there's yeah, more she's than not just one. Buried, but she's cremated I want to say her husband were... as well. Oh, yeah, that's and I want to say he place. passed. I know you mentioned something about something, but. I, I can't remember, but I what she shows he me is being first, on yeah. top of him. He so first, yeah. I also get shown white white bowels with this um, snowdrops. So we don't know where they scattered. If there's snowdrops that actually comes know. up there. I wasn't taken. I wasn't allowed um, to be there. I was too young. Well, I was counted to be too young. Do you know where the area is? No, no, I don't even know that. So not that if family. not, I'll I'll have to read up the representation of snowdrops because sometimes there's more of a meaning behind yeah. the flower that they give. And if you like them, I'm, <laughs> blue bells, like... bells snowdrops, blue and white. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, that makes perfect sense to me. Then yeah, I don't need to look that up. So so that makes sense to you. The... Possibly, yeah, certainly. See, for me, the the colour white is a sign of protection. So I know that this woman would be saying like that they protect you from that area and come to you, but. When I'm actually asking him to show it me as the protection the protection sign, I get taken the the white flowers go away and then I get shown the green, so I know it's something that's planted. Um, I don't know whether or not that there's been something planted amongst the family somewhere else, and maybe a memory garden, and maybe something that's been put together. When I'm saying it, it doesn't feel right. So no, it's, it's I not, see it's an not angel, my, like a, like a standing way. thing. Yeah, I think. But I don't see anything else. Like I, I'm asking for it, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. We don't work like that. <laughs> I get very large family. Everyone needs to know, and I don't know what that means. So I don't know whether or not this would have been like something that happened near her passing that everyone needs to know, or whether or not she's saying everyone needs to know I've come through, and so then maybe other people. I want What's to say it? seven in total. Seven. The number seven is relevant to you. Right. I don't know why it's. The number seven is. Um, I looked up that this year, didn't I, Lol? I looked up that Seven's to do all. with the house, and it was to do with prospects opening awakenings and something good coming to light to do with spiritual work. So, I would say, have you? Is this been going? Have you been thinking about it for the last seven years, or is it your seven years since you last done your readings till now? Oh, when was the last time I did a reading? Actually, that's there's some relevance to seven, and the number seven oh, is on about spiritual awakening, really? and that at the time I was trying to get the house. I couldn't tell you what so I did work it, from it. It could have been that that period of time. Could have been right. I'd have to think about it. Oh, really? Because I really know with me. I've been for seven years trying to get this house sorted. This year I put black and yellow tape up in protest. It's, the house is now done and I'm now able to move forward with my my work. So I feel for you, you've had the same thing. There's been a lot of issues that's been in your way to stop you on your <laughs> seven journey. Years. Yeah, seven and years, maybe seven years is relevant. My daughter is nine, things all start to go downhill a couple of years after she was born. Right, so, okay, yeah, so that would make, years, would make a lot of maybe. sense. I get told this is the right time for you. I I get told that this is the time for you to be discussing you and what you want and what you need. So I feel that you've put a lot of needs into everyone else and making sure that they're okay, but you need to be concentrating on you. When I'm going back to you and I'm I'm getting this, I get about the cards, nothing more. So I know this is on a spiritual level, like, do you know what I mean? It's not about taking care of yourself. It's not about, uh, you know, exercise routine. It's nothing like that. It is literally just the spiritual side. So it is literally like something that you started doing, something that interested you with the spirit world basically stopped and you've been talking to her haven't you? I haven't, I haven't. <laughs> but it needs to it needs to be addressed it needs to be put forward i also get shown with your other packs of cards so i know you've got packs of cards but I there's other there's a couple of packs of cards you're still looking at getting and i get shown with you that cards is your forte so for you the cards it, it like the more you work with them the more confident you'll become as well so i'm i know i'm to tell you that so there may be a bit of anxiety there was until I'd, I'd done a reading. Oh, how long ago was that reading done for my friend? When did she get married? 
Oh, now that was longer ago than that because her daughter is now five. So she got rather. It would have been maybe nine, eight, nine years ago. I did a reading for a girl. Um, I did a whole year reading. Right. Which told her not to get married. He would treat her like hell, etc. <coughs> And they did, they got forced, and <laughs> got married, got divorced, and she's now with an alternative person who came from a different land, which I'd also said would happen. Um, and they have a child, which she says she wouldn't have any kids, and she has one daughter. Whilst I'm talking to you, well, whilst you're talking to me, I all of a sudden saw a farmyard there, so I don't know whether or not. Uh, yeah, we, we lived on, we lived on, no, we, we lived on, we lived on farm. Now right. That's, that's probably to do with. Right, that okay, thing. that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why, sometimes they Nanos, just take Nanos me straight Nanos. to something. And... Nanos, 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 no, her father was a was clergy, but my grandpa came from farming stock, but we always had, right. we had a barn. Right, We okay. had a barn, we had horses, and we yeah. had, yeah, so okay. it wasn't a farm, but it was, yeah. I don't think this lady is going to let much else family-wise come through. And the reason I'm going to say that is, is because we keep going back to her. And yeah. Because we keep going back to her, I know it's important. I would have said that she would have probably been that type of person this side of life then. She wanted like to be sent of attention. Oh, Christ, the type yes. Of person that wanted to be seen and heard and everywhere you went. Like, do you know what I mean? I also want to drink a shot of whiskey or brandy. So I know <laughs> with her, it's like, yeah, going out to bingo, I'm having a shot. I'm going out to the pub. No, there would have been bingo or pub. But it would have been, she did always have, yes, yeah, she had her sherry at lunchtime. And she had her, it was more her sherry at lunchtime, her whiskey right. before dinner. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, know, I see little glasses, so oh, yeah, I yeah, see yes. a very old, and I, I want to represent my grandmother, so I get a very elderly looking lady. Um, so I, my grand died about 86, so I would have oh, said she would have 19, been 19? older on in age, because my yeah. family on that side do go yeah. into their 80s, 90s, yeah. and nearly 100. My nan used to be the same. And it's funny, I also get the arthritis in the fingers with her, yeah, so I know that there was yeah, deformity of the yeah, hands. Like that, yeah. um, and I do see her, like, with a little glass. And, I, and when I see it, I see my nan. So I know that there's a lot of representation <laughs> yeah, in there. Do, yeah. Would this lady have been anything to do with tailor S, anything to do with fabrics, like sewing, stitching that? The only reason um, I ask is because that was what my nan's profession was. And um, not, well, that, 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 she... <coughs> she she had a she she loved clothes being made for her. <laughs> um, Would they have been sewn deliberately for her? Like, some of them, yeah. Because I get certain. But she, I also but... she she kept, I, in her um, ottoman she had bolts of material and things. Right. Like that, okay. Yeah. I do get sewing machine, but I don't yes, get Yes, she had old singing so machine. So I would say that so. she would have sewn. Yeah. But yeah. it's mad that she shows my nan. I would say grey hair. Glasses, short. She did sometimes wear glasses. Well, she my, was short. my nan's not much taller than me. She was about oh, no, five. My, my, my nan was seven. quite tall for her. Was she? Her generation. It may be then just the representation that my, that I'm getting Your given nan, as yeah. my nan has in the grey curly hair, would have had her hair done all the time, glasses, oh, every week. Um, <laughs> and the arthritis. Yeah. Now I know f with my nan it was only arthritis in her hands, and that's what I get shown is in the hands. Yeah, so I don't hand. feel that there would have been anything else that. It would have. Not, it may have affected not, her, like she might have been achy and that, but I don't yeah. feel that it would have. She wouldn't have had a hip replacement, wouldn't have no. had knee replacement, didn't have no. any problems no. with it affecting that side. What I pick up with this lady is someone that would have worked hard with her hands, and this is why her hands went the way she did. Um, and the only reason I say that is because the fact that my nan was with being a seamstress, that's mm -hmm. what made her hands go all bent yeah. and that lot. So she would have done something. My grandmother was more sort of she was she was a housewife, but she always she sewed everything, she cooked everything. She... Yeah. <laughs> so that the wear and housewife tear. And stuff. Yeah. 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 Did she have club foot? Something wrong with wrong uh, wrong with one of her feet? I want to no. say look a little bit shorter no, maybe not, on one not, leg. I don't think so. She was left-handed. That was the a deformity back then. I know it sounds ridiculous. It was, yeah, because I'm left-handed and I was actually forced no, to No, but that, that was not a deformity. I was classed as, a, yeah, because they forced me at school. Yeah. If you were left-handed, they forced you to become right-handed mm -hmm. and that's what they did with yeah. me. I get something with a right foot. I can't change it. I can't take it away. And I want to say, like, a reduction, like something that, you know, she may have been yeah, a little no, no, bit no, no, shorter on one side have, or may I, have I, I walked... Don't... I don't know. I don't know about that, but she did have. She did go to see um. A, 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 what do they call it? The person who deals with your feet. Um. Ah. Uh, Thank Shrubbed you. It, yeah. And it was her right foot. I know that. So. Right. Okay. So because it's right that. foot that she gives me, and she gives me the back of the foot. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Because I want to sort of yeah. walk at a funny angle. She's just stepped out all of a sudden. 
Don't step out. Where are you going? Come back. Maybe there's other people more interesting. More... No, she would step out because there's someone more interesting. There's never anyone more interesting than that. There is a gentleman that stood with her. And I want to, like, I only faintly see him and I get suits. I get him in a suit. So I don't know whether or not he would have passed and been buried in a suit. Yeah. Or whether or not he would have been the type of gentleman that would have always worn suits. I get representation more of, no, I was going to say of, of being buried in a suit, but I feel he would have worn a suit before that. He would have been someone that, I want to say Sunday best. So it wouldn't have been all the time, but he would have every now and then had an occasion that he would have got dressed up. <clears throat> How long am I in this? I don't know why, but I've just been taken straight to, is it a, a bearer, funeral bearer, the one that work, walks in front of the car with? Mm -hmm. he he's taken me to that for some reason, so I don't know whether or not he would have had that at his funeral. If he had someone that walked in. So this to me would have been that the it may be that the funeral was actually further away than the house. So because of it, like they always have someone that normally walks with them so far, don't they? I know, yes, I know the sort of thing you, you mean. I know what he I don't know why I've been taken from seeing him in a suit faintly, stood with her, to then being taken to that. That it makes no sense to me. Have like any idea what he looks like? Do you have any kind of physical representation of him? Shorter than her, taller than her? I get a man that's got a slim face, glasses, I want to say like receding hair, like do you know what I mean? I, I see white, but I do see receding, so it's quite thin. Yeah. And I just see him as really tall and he's in a suit. And a slender chap. <laughs> you see, can can sometimes it be what how someone sees themselves, not what they actually look like? <laughs> So that again. Can it be how someone perceives themselves? It, comes it could be, yeah. Yeah, so if it's someone that's like... So someone perceives themselves as being tall. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then not in actual fact. If that's the type of person that they were in this life, I mean, obviously I wouldn't know that, but if, if that's... Her husband, my, my grandfather was actually quite a short man, but tall personality. Right, okay. He was a tall person. He was a tall... He saw... He... he, he he, he thought he was tall. Does that make sense? He, Did he have he was, the army? Oh, but yeah, he was... Did he, he was, do a oh, runner? No. Because I get shown that he was asked to go, and he didn't. No, he, did, he didn't, but he, he wasn't a fighter. Right, okay. He wasn't, he wasn't, you know, sort of... I would say, with the fact of me being shown that, that he would have been alive for World War One, and he would have been called up. And I get no, shown that... No, that's because her father, then. That would be, I mean, my, right, my okay. grandfather would be her father. I get shown he didn't go. I believe not, because he was clergy. Right, so okay. Right, okay. I know he got called up. But you don't have, didn't have to if you were, do, I do you know, if you were clergy. You didn't have to do you know if up. he was really tall? Glasses? I don't, I, 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 again, this would all be, I, I just think saw a he sparkle of light right in front of you just there. I'm hoping the camera will pick that up. I really do hope. Uh, that's why I've done it deliberately yeah. where we're sat in a darker area here and the light's coming through there. But I'm using our own nat the natural light yeah. so that we can try and yeah. see if we can pick up any orbs or any spirit energies that are around us. Until I view it back, I won't know. Um, so I'm, I'm talking quickly because this chap's very aware. Like I'm, I've got him stood literally right next to me. And can for I, him, it's... I'm being prompted as well. When you said Sunday best, that would tie in with the clergy. What is clergy? Oh, sorry, um, he's he a vicar, like a vicar. Right, um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, reverend. He just Sunday... Quite an impatient I said Sunday best, didn't I? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know him, I wouldn't have known him. Yeah. I said Sunday best as yeah, well, did. so yes, it did. would have been then that... that Which would have been, right, against suits, he wouldn't... Yeah. He would have worn... Right, because I, I didn't... Kind of like it, it was all tied with the thingy, isn't it? Because I didn't pick up it was every day. When I wanted to say it, he yeah. just kept saying Sunday best. And yeah. for me, that would, like, you know, make perfect yeah. sense. Yeah. But it's mad because I get shown the suit. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I don't get shown cloth. Yeah. So I don't get shown, like, the, what they call them, sash and that, isn't it? The, the things they wear Vestments. on their shoulders. Vestments. And, yeah. Yes. yeah, I don't see any of that. I just see the suit. So, do but you know? he was, I, like I said, I don't know what clergy he was. So it doesn't right, necessarily okay. mean he did have vestments. He may yeah. actually have of been had. a, what was it, sort of a plain clothes. Reverend, yeah, he was clergy, that is all I know, is that he was clergy. I mean, like I said, it's 100 years, year before, I, well before I was born, and we don't really have a lot of, not big on family history, to be honest. Have you got a really old picture of a woman, uh, there's a wedding photo of a gentleman and lady, the lady's not much shorter than the gentleman, 
but I get the veil over her face. And normally the veil would be put back, but in this picture I get it forward. I don't want to say Victorian. So I don't know whether or not this may just be a picture that you've got, that you've got. I have got a thousand or... old pictures from my family. And right. I don't know who any of them are. Right, okay. And yes, I do. I, that does ring a bell, but right. I would have to go back and check. Right, okay. I would have to go check. All, that's difficult because it's all the storage. <laughs> it's mad. Like, when I'm asking, like, show me the male in the picture, I'm getting no picture of the male. I'm just getting representation to the woman coming forward and the veil. So is there a wedding coming up? You talk to my knowledge. <laughs> right, okay. I'm not getting that because normally if I'm getting wedding, yeah. I would be shown wedding vows and I would be shown like good luck and the horse show yeah. and all that. Um, I'm only asking because the fact of obviously the representation, because the fact there's nothing more with what I'm being shown with it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's probably a shame thing for that. I was just about to say that to you, funny enough. Sorry. I was literally just about to say to you, unless there's something secretive about this. Oh, Marriage, lots like, in my family. Like, Keep like, going. Like, going something. <laughs> whether or not, like you know, there's a bit of adultery or something that's gone on or what, oh, you know, I don't know. That's you know the other side mean? of the family. But, uh, that's the other side of the family. <laughs> the fact that I get the clothes veil and the man is, I, I can see him if that, that makes sense, side, but I don't side. see him if that makes sense. You know, sort of like when you're looking at a picture, but you sort of look one side, but you can't quite. You're I can't, I'm, I'm asking, show me this side, and I'm getting no nothing and it's just like literally i can feel the essence Ooh, but this man's my mother's cut out. Now, my mum talks a lot about her family so i would know about if, if right. it's, that could be because she buggered off with someone else <laughs> this and they was ready to go back this may be then what she's showing me because it's representation to the woman and the marriage and the man yeah. being out of the picture like, yeah she left I mean? the so that would make perfect sense yeah <clears throat> Would your, again, would, I want a representation, a small child, small baby. Right. But I'm asking, is there a baby being born? And I feel, I don't know. I'm asking, is there a baby that's just been born? I'm getting no. But I'm getting reference to your children. So I don't know whether or not this lady would have been just passed as one of your children would have been born whether or not well, my, my grandmother been... died just before my son was born right okay son. i was going to say your son but i got stopped on that i so... was pregnant when i was I, I, she was how was just dying right so i was at the end of my pregnancy i was i gave birth to him a month no no about two weeks after she died right okay so this is the baby that's been acknowledged so it may have been, yeah i think she wanted to see the, the thing is what where i'm saying to you i'm a bit confused i'm not quite sure and i'm going like i can see a baby but i can't see where what i'm getting is i think that she's given me where she couldn't speak and wasn't quite so we're back to Madden again she yeah <laughs> she is definitely the strong as, as soon as i got up this morning i got anxious i felt sick I felt dizzy. I was just all over the place, and that's why I wrote it down because I was like, you know, I can't, I can't cope with this. And I was like, thank you, do you know what I mean? And I, I wrote it down. But even when I was trying to carry on just doing the washing up and that, I was like, come on now, like, do you know what I mean? Hurry up! <laughs> and then I was like, they're going to be here at one o'clock, and it was like, no, one and a half past. No, they're going to be here at one o'clock, and then that's when all of a sudden I panicked and was like, what? And I looked, and it was like 10 to 1, and I was like, well, if they're going to be here in 10 minutes, I've got no makeup on, I haven't finished with, you know, I've got this plastering to do. So I literally panicked to get everything done. But I felt for her that she is a very cushy lady, so whatever she wanted, she would have got. Um, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> this, is what I got, this is what I've got with her all morning, is she hasn't left me alone. If, if oh, I'm surprised mean, she's it's been her. constantly... If, 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 if it's that not, I am surprised it's her. Because I didn't think it would. I mean, she's the last person I thought it would be. Really, the last person I thought would be the person that. Was... I'm getting representation of photographs again. Don't so all this nonsense. Some, Ridiculous. There's someone that's been looking at photographs, and that's um, why she's going through. Um, I don't. We don't. My uncle's always doing stuff to do with them, <laughs> but we don't have contact with him, so I couldn't. <laughs> that's mad. I and she's very. Thought... She was very close to him, so. On the bit where I put, um, you will be here at 1pm, a lady is too in, impatient. I'm good, you yeah. And that's what I put on there. Yeah. Clear seeing now. So I don't know whether or not she would have had problems with her eyes as mm, well. That's right, yeah. But for her, she's, it's mad that I didn't read, like, I've written all that there. Yeah. 
I've read that, I've read that, and then I've just gone back to this, and I've got a lady is too impatient, clear seeing now. So I know for her, it's important to tell you everything. So I would say that this would have been the, she would have been a big part in your life, like, do you know what I mean? And for her to be a big part in your life, I know it's important for her to tell you everything. And that's why she's like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. You sense her a lot and you smell her perfume. And I'm going to be really crude here and I do apologise, but you also smell ladies' urine, like old granny's urine. Yeah. And what I get shown is, is when she comes in, she, okay, she's going, not old granny's urine, it's granny piss. So <laughs> I feel with this lady, she would have been quite forward with her talking. I know that she's a very old fashioned lady because I pick up with her very old fashioned. But she would have said it to the point as well. It's mad because I'm getting my, my nan sort of stepping in going in the knacker's yard. And that was going back years ago. I to my nan's like, oh, God, I'm so knackered. She was like, that's a swear word. And I was like, no, really. And she's like, yeah, it is. And I didn't know, like, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I know with your, this lady, she would have had a lot of old fashioned values. But she would have spoke her truth as well. She would have spoke her tongue. Oh, God, yeah. 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 And the fact that she's saying clear seeing now. She keeps, every time I'm going into her, I keep seeing the cards. So I know that she's going to be your guardian angel. She's going to be the one that's around you doing the cards and stuff like that. So I feel that you pick up on a spiritual level already. And I want to say the left-hand side. And I, I get cold down the left-hand side. But I still get the chills across the top of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Was she a complaint that she was cold all the time? Oh, all the time, yeah. That's why you feel it then. Yeah. That's why you feel yeah, it Yeah, because I never used to feel cold. <laughs> until she passed and this is what i get is when well, no actually relatively recently is when my my chills just more started well it's when she's near you that i pick that you pick them up and what she shows me is whilst you're doing work around working with spirit and that lot you've had like an awakening like recently there's been something that's happened i also see butterflies representation with you as well I know that would be probably the wings because we've had the wings but i also get color the color orange and black yeah, what's, is it Admiral Butterfly? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. I wonder if the word Admiral. I don't know because I didn't. Yeah, come on. She's a bit confused. She just literally just popped out. I don't know where she's gone. Gathering herself together. You just can't. Come on. Normally, if they do this, they could be someone that's ill in the family. And normally, what I find, if they go out quick and they come back, sometimes it's just that they're checking up on them, like, do you know what I mean? Or they're <laughs> going and doing stuff with them and that. I don't feel that there's anyone really, really ill, though, because the fact that I'm not seeing hospitals and stuff that when I'm, as I'm saying it. Wonderful. Monday. But I do get representation to someone that she's looking after as well as you. Is there three of you all together? Three siblings, you and two. I want to say another no, girl. No, mum and dad. Sorry? It's her son, my dad. Right. It's her son. And there would have been three of them. And no, and no, there were two of them, but there's my mum, dad and me. There's just three of right, us. Right, three of you, okay. And my mum looked after them, her, at the end. Is your mum needing looking after her at the minute? Yeah. Because I get a representation to the three, but as I said, for someone to go out... The way she did then and to come back in normally i find that's when they've had to go they're called on upon something they've got to go and do mm. their, their work well, somewhere else operation relatively recently and my dad's having a shoulder operation this week would it be left shoulder yeah because that was what i was saying to just a couple of minutes yeah. ago that i was getting feeling down the yeah, left hand side shoulder being and then i said to you she's being rushed out because she's looking after someone yeah He's so she's aware of this then. So he's having all these med pre pre op stuff this week. Your messages that you're getting are a little bit sort of um not quite coherent to how most people would talk. So I know she is still struggling with her speech, um the way that she's bringing it through. Like do you know what I mean? She's giving it me as more pictures and feelings of sensation, um than actually verbally talking. Um. But she keeps referring to the eyes. I can see more clearly. So I know for her, it's important to let you know that she can oh, yeah, that she she hated, see it. She hated not being able to read everything. Might also because my dad's got sight problems at the moment. 
Oh, I was just about to say, I with a gentleman that sat down at the minute that can't get up and he's wearing glasses, I get like a comb over, like I want to just put all my hair back. I'm not sure if it's long or short, but I just want to do this. So that sounds like I my grandfather, my grandfather, but I don't know about her father could be. Would this be your father? My grandfather. My grandfather used to have that. Uh, all stick no. back but white it's all stick back yeah, yeah and white right like said. yeah yeah but but receded to here and, and would he have worn glasses did he have yeah, did glasses. yeah. it's mad though because i get him reading books like, oh, you've he's always time. sat in the chair like this reading books uh-huh. and that's what i get with him yeah. so anything else you get with him just just it's, it's a confirmation it's, it's fine you're... when i am talking to him it, i don't know why he's giving me the representation of it but I'm sat in a conservatory, and within the conservatory, I can see green grass. But it's green within the conservatory, so it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> um, uh, uh, decorated cushions? I don't know. Flowery cushions? I mean, to me, that's I... That's the only thing I do. They had, they had um, wicker work with cushions, and yellow and green, and, you know, right, okay. gardeny conservatory. It's all this conservatory. Did he pass for something to do with the lungs? Because I get... Um, th- th- to my knowledge, no more different. And I get quick passing with him as oh, well. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. So I don't know whether or not. Did he pass a heart attack? Yeah. Because that would be. <sighs> Instant, gone. And yeah, then... he was found in bed. Right. In the morning. Job. Yeah. It's mad you said that. I mean, it, it's from you saying that that it's took me to it. But my grandfather did the same. He went to go and get his tablets and literally had a heart attack as he was trying to get out so for me i actually see slippers so i know he was actually getting out of bed was he that's what i get he shown. was found almost like he was tapped in his sleep we could always hope to tap in his right sleep. if not then i would say that was his intent before his passing he was, was that he was awake he? i don't get with him that he knew it happened no, he just quick. intended to get I literally i get a <sighs> and then <sighs> Nothing. That's like dead like, yeah, was, so yeah. for me, I would say that he actually did wake up. I feel he would have took a couple of breaths. Thought, mm-hmm. right, I'm going to get up. I want to put his slippers right at the side of the bed. So oh, I would have said he got out and would have put his slippers on straight away. And I feel that the intent was there, but it never happened. You I get no bit. representation of pain. I, I get a little flutter, like a tiniest, tiniest little flutter, but nothing. I yeah. get literally instant. He'd been on tablets for this for quite a while, uh-huh. and he also shows me the spray, and he also yeah. shows me something with the top of the tongue as well. So we don't know whether or not he would have had to have taken a tablet because the spray goes under the tongue, doesn't it? Yeah, but you get those nitrate but tablets as well, don't you? He, there's like, something that yeah, he's, he's showing me there's yeah. something on top of the tongue that I he need. Never, to... He had he had medications for his heart. That is all I know. Right. That's you. <laughs> you would have been very 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 young. I want to say two, three. Oh, in which case, that's not him. That's not my grandfather. They could be piggybacking. So yeah, cause sometimes my you'll get my one spirit that will fetch another grandfather through. Or sometimes they'll lead them from one to the other. But I get representation all of a sudden as a child. And I get curls as well. So would you have had curly hair when you was a child? Yeah. No, it's always a great disappointment to my grandmother that I need to have curly hair. Right, Sorry, okay. curly hair. <laughs> Apropos nothing before I have curly hair. Would this be a representation of a child? Have you got a young girl with curly hair? Uh, it's not particularly curly, no, but... <laughs> I get, like, curl looks. Yeah, my and I, But I get younger, so obviously as you, when you're younger, it's normally more curly. Oh, and my mother used to curl it. So there are pictures of me with ringlets, yeah, because my mother used to curl it. Right, because that's what I see is ringlets. Yeah, that old-fashioned kind of, like, <coughs> back in papers type of ringlets. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I used to have that inflicted on me. <laughs> I also get a cross representation as well, and I want to go to the necklace, so I don't yeah. know... This may be to do with the clergy, though, saying that. The, no, we all, the, we, the, the, the vicar. Uh, well, they, they be able to, it could be all sorts of things. Is it in the clergy? Yeah. Clergy, yeah. yeah. I'm a bit dyslexic, so sometimes I need to explain into. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, my legs have gone funny. So mm-hmm. I know with this person that's coming through representing the little girl and the curls would have had something wrong with both legs. 
gonna have to put the legs down once again. I'm, I want to do this, and I'm also getting the the letters MS, so I don't know whether or not there would have been someone in your family that would have passed with like. Charlie, we're not going to go family history. We just stopped saying it's good through all this old stuff because we don't. We don't. Not going to. Is there something with your legs that aren't quite right? Because I well, several things, but I'm I'm getting reference to your legs, and I'm getting reference to a bit sort of not quite hundred oh, percent. My lucky on legs. Them. Fucking lucky they hold me up. I so so you've got this. I know I have. I've got. But yeah, I've got I want to say knees, knees mainly. <laughs> there you go. Right. I want to say left hip. Um. Yes. Funny enough, last week. <laughs> and I'm also getting trouble with stairs. And I'm getting the left you leg being the left leg's more weaker than the right leg. Yeah. Now I'm getting told that you've either mentioned to someone about it and physiotherapy's been mentioned, or whether or not you may that be under is. physiotherapy already. Yeah, was what too. I get told is this person that's coming through is men uh, is I was gonna say mental then. <laughs> <laughs> wrong word <laughs> I'm not even going to change that because I'm trying to change it and they won't let me but I want to say a man and he's saying to me the best thing for that is walking <laughs> so I know that this man would have been very much a walker like do you know what I mean it would would have been something that he would have is done is this the same man that, as, that I'm not sure I just get a male essence but I know with him he would have had trouble with his legs uh-huh. I get trouble with both knees with this gentleman for him it is his right knee and I would even say that he probably would have had a stick as well because the fact that I I sense a stick, my although breath, I don't see a breath, stick. Probably, yeah. I get with this, it's hereditary. So it's something oh, that good, could be passed down. <laughs> I also get with you the bottom of the spine as well. So if this hasn't already started happening, I know it's coming. Are you not quite 40 yet? Yeah, or have yeah, you I'm just done? Past 40. Well, <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. For, for, me, for me then, I would have said the, this started... From your fortieth, so as yeah. times from your fortieth's gone on, it's something mm. that you've noticed more and more and more yeah. of. Yeah. Um, but it's mad because I get shown rowing, cycling, this that, and the other. So I know you're very active. Like, do you know what I mean? That doesn't mean that you're actually into. They're sports. thinking. They're thinking about when I was back in a teenager. <laughs> Bloody, hot back, you know. For for me, what it means is when they show me sports and stuff and that lot, it shows me that you're. It, that would be your way forward. So maybe going to the gym, doing some walking. I, for me, I personally, when I like ask, like to show me representation, for you, you get bored too easily, and I get shown you'd be better off walking out and about in the outside world, taking in the outside view be because it's more therapeutic for you than what it is to for you. It's too de- tedious to to be in the gym, basically. I used to be giving this person all of a sudden is making me shake. And I know that there would have been some something to do with um, the neuro, you know, the not the system that would have handled nerves and that. So I want to do this. So I know with this gentleman near the end of his age, he would have probably have just done this quite often. But it's weird because it comes from here. So I know that it's something to do with the structure of the body, and that it may have been a trap nerve. It may have been something that he'd had within his neck and that at the back. But I do pick up with him that he would do this. So it may have been that he would have just continued to keep, like, you know, stretching out because of pains and that lot. But I do want to do this. So I know that it's something that really irritates him. Like, do you know what I mean? It's constant and it's really doing his head in. Is this relevant to you? I don't know why. I've just got drawn straight to you. All I can think is that, obviously, I've been trying to keep well out of it. Yeah. But every time your grandmother's dad comes through as the clergyman, <coughs> something. Yeah, he's. It, it's like because because I've been keeping really quiet, but then I had to because like he was nagging me like with the Sunday mess yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know whether it's like confirmation, like because if you come to me, is he what saying? What I'm getting is that it's confirmation that it is your great granddad. Right. On your, okay. On your father's side. Right. Okay. So that. Does that would that make sense to you? So even though you don't know the history of how he passed, right? That, it's it's almost like he's he's saying. So like, maybe he's saying, look, this is what happened to me. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe, maybe this is more on a medical side then that he's coming through. If you didn't know him and you yeah. didn't know of what he passed off, I will look into it. I will definitely look into it. There's maybe something that he's coming to you and saying. Any confirmation. This is yeah. me passing down. It may be something from his gene. It may be something that mm-hmm. you know gets passed down every five so or six generations. Or he did right, have okay. His my grandfather don't know about my my right, grandfather's okay. father. I would I. I want to say that, that this is something that's going to get worse if it's not actually dealt with. So I know for you that this has been going on for a we while. Dodgy and it is something that you've been wondering what to do with. Like, yeah, you might my patellas in my knees. I feel you haven't actually yet gone to the doctors, or if you have, and they've said to you physiotherapy, it's not on your agenda to do it. It's, it, wouldn't <laughs> work, it wouldn't work. And I get shown it wouldn't work. It's not enough. I don't think it would work but anyway. You, you need to be walking about an hour a day. I also get with you hypermobility syndrome, so you get a lot of fluid around the joints, so you get a lot of joints that pop in and out. Oh, yeah. And I feel with that with your knees as well. Like, But I get shown walking or support the muscles around the joints and that lot. Yeah, I've got uneven, uneven, mus- uneven muscle development around my patellas in my knees. Right, so that would make sense. But everything else is fine. Yeah. I'm asking if there's anything else on you, and I'm getting, no, she's fine. That's nice good just her legs that's all he's worried about is just your legs and i get shown from there from here down so i know that for him i would have said this chap would have ended up probably disabled near the end he wouldn't have been able to walk maybe I'm, deeper concern because my mother's having various problems with her lower back and hip as well right okay let it as it happens right okay <laughs> So this, uh, he may be representing that then more than one person. Like, he might I mean? be, because my mother's so, got, she, she, she says something. She has literally last weekend injections in her lower back for uh, whatever whatever those injections right. are they do, um, a procedure. And she had an operation, her hip operation or hip replacement eight weeks ago. Right, okay. So this thing. would make perfect sense then yes. for representation to your legs and her legs. Yeah. Um, Obviously, she's going to have physio. That makes yeah, perfect sense. Make like, do you know what I yes. mean? When I'm asking about her, I get, no, she's physio. For you, I get told, no, total different. You need to walk more. And it's healthy for you to walk more. I see for you that when I'm saying it, you are the type of person that would be outside it's in nature. I still walk yesterday. <laughs> as it happens. Do you know what I did as well? That's I true. actually got forced to go on a dog walk yesterday. I've been out for months. I, don't, well, I actually cheeky. haven't been out for a year because I've fallen out. With, well, not fallen out, but I've upset a couple of people there. I just don't want to sort of bump into them. But yeah, yesterday I got forced to go for a walk. So, yeah. But what I get with you is it's more about the essence of it as well. Like, do you know what I mean? So it clears the mind as mm-hmm. well as energises and fixes the body. So... For me, for me to get representation for you to do that, I know that there's something on your mind at the minute that you need to be sort of outside to be able to clear out, if that makes sense. Maybe, I want to say stored energy, but I don't understand what that means. Come on, give me a little bit Sort of. So, I've got it. It makes sense I, I, to you. I understand what they yeah. mean, sort of. I think it's mad because when I'm asking, I get taken to stars and moon as well. So there's something to do <laughs> with. I want to say, do you do witchcraft? Is there something witchy with you? Because I want to go to four corners, but the four corners so, of the earth, the moon, the okay. sun, and the I don't know what it is. Earth, moon, stars. Well, you call the corner. Uh, don't use the four directions. North it don't mean south. nothing to me though, because I yeah. don't do. I don't work on that level, but I get with you, you do. There's, there's several, several reasons. There's both, there's where, where I live has several. Ah. That's my tarot deck. Ah. Can I show the camera? Yeah, if you could. So Laura's just brought out a box. Yeah. It's got stars, moon, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and love the that. sun. Yes. Yeah, um, I have, I have uh, where I currently live, there is that moon, the sun, several stars. Like uh, in various different forms. Of I, I was prompted to bring these with me, so that's that's obviously why room, yeah. I was yeah. getting representation to. Yeah. yeah. And it's mad because that's what I was actually seeing was those symbols as well. But Laurie is a witch as well. So. I know. Well, I know that you work on a witchy level, like do you yeah. know what I mean. For me, I don't. 
I, I call everything psychic, do you know what I mean? Everything's done on a psychic level, but yeah. I, when I look at witchy and now, I'm, I'm st- I still feel that people are very old fashioned and like, you know, oh, drown the witch. So I try to stay away. I tried. From, I try to stay away from the word witch. I know what you mean, um, yeah. You know, just so I don't cause argument with people. No, absolutely. You know what yeah, I mean? You, you, you tend to avoid it. I, had I my, embrace it, but that's. <laughs> yeah. well, I, 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 as I get older, I'm, I'm becoming more <laughs> embracing. Of that particular word, but yes, you're absolutely right. I put right. ghost Those on my page not long back, and one and the lady on there decided, oh, well, it's spirit, and it's like, well, actually, no, it's ghost, spirit, anything. What like, the they're difference? all the same. Yeah, exactly. They're all the same to me. Like, do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, that's why I think, I, think this, I, I changed the word to spirit. I didn't <coughs> say ghost to you, and I changed it to spirit yeah. yesterday. I've just automatically stopped, and I've just got representation to take me back to that box of cards. So there's something that you've been doing with that box of cards, you together, I say. If not, you're about to. Have you offered to give a reading? Yeah. To Anna, and yeah. that's why you've got them. Yeah. You I've, haven't I've done offered, the reading yet, though, no, so I feel no. it hasn't been done yet. No, I've offered to give her a reading, and I've also, I think it's a good time to say this, I've also offered to um, help develop... I get one gifts. thing, the word, I just get words, the one thing. So I don't know what that means, but obviously to you two, that would make sense, but I get yeah. told just the one thing. How I'm give, getting given it is just one card. Mm. So as if it's just the one card. So it's there's some so representation just that needs one. to be, I would say, yeah, mm. like that, just pick one. So maybe, I don't know, obviously I don't know what this means between yeah, you two. That's, but reading that, that's reading that you should do for me, just to... Yeah, yeah, the, I, th- I think that, but I also think as well that part of my purpose is to... Um, assist you like on the tarot readings to yeah get the confidence back. i definitely would say that i think there's been far more of a purpose to you than that but is, there, is there more people involved purpose. maybe that's what it is just one maybe it's just you not other people are you dealing with other people to do with this no well <laughs> <laughs> well, not be unfaithful like that. I'm, I'm just um, asking, obviously. I'm to, not. I'm not a friend, know. slut. <laughs> um, I, um, what the real conversation we had last night that that you had been? I get representation to your necklace as well, the pentacle yeah. you're wearing for some reason. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I've also got the Brad Wright. I just, I did well. get drawn to that as well. Yeah. Like, with... and, and which, which to me is um, strength and courage through times of change. Which is what I'm saying to you is coming as change. But on a, it is on a spiritual level. Mm. Everything else for you is, I get everything's great, everything's perfect. The timing is right. Is this the moment to talk about last night? It is literally the perfect. I make myself comfy on your sofa. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> you know what? The amount of people that come in here and they say it's like this house is so peaceful and lovely. Well, you know, these things. And they all yeah. seem to just. Yeah. Just proper chill. You oh, do it yeah. as well, don't you? Oh, All of us. Oh, Everyone yeah. comes here. Yeah, just proper yeah. chill out, like. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I do anyway, like obviously, because like we know each other well. But yeah, first time I come round here, yeah, my feet were up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. I'm getting, I'm yeah. getting peace here. It's lovely. Yeah. But this is what I'm picking with you. This is what I'm picking up with you. That's what I was just literally saying to you. Is I feel that you. I don't feel struggle with you. I just feel that every time that you've gone to do something, something gets in your way. Yeah. And I pick up on a spiritual level. What about being called you batshit up... crazy? That one. Wow, well, I all get to, I, to, I get told I'm batshit crazy. Do you know what I mean? But it's not. It's no, because no. I've got a psychic ability, and it's beyond the ability, and everyone else can't accept it because they can't. They're, they're the ones that's mental because they can't accept it. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's it's hard. It is. It, it, it is it's hard. hard sure. But the reason that it's hard is because the fact that like. I was talking to someone the other day, and I said to them, do you know, we don't eat poo. Well, I'm going to say how I said that. We don't eat shit. Yeah. <laughs> because we're told we don't eat shit. Yeah. It's the same with spirituality. It's difficult because we've been told for 40 odd years that it's not it's not real. It doesn't yeah. exist. And, yeah. like, you know, it's, it's witchcraft and it's hocus pocus and you should stay away from it. So what happens when you are not never you, you never someone who's not ever 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 considered themselves to be psychic in the slightest so or spiritual or anything like that i, I do tell you quite things. highly psychic to be um, fair. <laughs> is this my do you think? i pick up with auras with you as well so you pick up a lot on people's senses and that like you'll pick up on auras and i feel that auras probably would be a good thing for you to go into mm. but i do pick up that the cards are going to be your tool 
Yeah. The, the yeah, cards they that goes across your the cards. Card and the, the you know cards. I mean? You need to get over this stereotype issue with with things, because that's what I'm getting is, is that the only person that's holding you back is you. Oh, people talk But you have been you. held back deliberately. You have been held back. And I'm getting shown that this seven years that keeps cropping up, cropping up seven is significant for you. And so, seven years is the um, open growth of spirituality. That's normally when everything that's spiritual will come into anyone's life and how they take it and how they work with it yeah, and perceive that's it. it. That's probably when it went out of my life, in actual fact. I personally, myself, pick up with you that you've had a lot of senses and from a child, but you've not been awake to them. Now that you're awakening, this is where all of a sudden you're getting the cold chills, you're feeling okay, different that's things. that's relevant. Last night, I was lying in bed uh, on my own uh, with my dogs <laughs> and uh, the door was closed to the rest of the where we live and um i and it was like i don't know it was like uh, my hair moved and i was like spider cobweb what yeah and then it and it happened again the hair moved all back to the same place i was like what the fuck is that That's sorry bad that you said that i'm just gonna quickly interrupt you I do apologize but cool. just before you two turned up i said i was doing the washing up didn't i yeah I had a saucepan that span itself round, and I don't have things moving in this house. Okay, so, so was... that was representation. That would have been clarification to tell you that the movements you've been getting, and right. that I would say. Yeah, stop stealing my fucking stuff! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, bitch! I have to stand there and I have to say to her, "Bitch, give it back." <laughs> and I do. She she takes gold for, for twenty odd years. I actually shit myself in the kitchen because okay. I was like, when I'm miles away from that, I didn't touch 20, it. Okay, it's right, she twenty okay, twenty odd years, and I have had stuff disappear on me. Right, and it disappears. And first of all, it was it's lost. But the first time I lost something was the first house I lived in when I moved. And from moving to my first place on my own onward, and something disappeared. And I was like, that's odd. It was a load of parchment paper. Sounds strange. But and I was like, that's strange. Where the hell's it gone? Yeah. Okay. Odd, but same. And slowly, over the last 20 odd years, stuff would disappear and reappear. And then last year, my bank card went missing. And I've started to kind of, kind of get into the, the, I have this spirit who follows me around she follows me from i think it's a she follows me it is a she because i see hairbrushes i see old oh, fuck, hair, how many hairbrush did i lose yeah don't want back now <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks yeah and my daughter so stop seeing me hers it's not fair um so i but this this there's part of paper sticks in my head but my my it was only because my card went missing and i i looked in this handbag if it happens which has a pocket in it so it has this little pocket in. Yeah? And I checked that pocket, which you can see is not very big. Three times? Other people have checked that pocket. And eventually I lost my temper and I was like, bitch, fucking give it back. This is not fair. I don't need this shit today. Give it back. Um check my handbag again as you do. Yeah. Open the pocket. Carl was in there. And there it is. And she gave it back. So I've now learned that if I just say bitch, give it back. Give it back. Yeah. I will normally get it back. And she did it with my the other day, my son's game. He couldn't find the box. And I went, come on, bitch, that's not fair, that's not mine, that's his. And it was there behind the TV. He'd already looked there. It's really I was sitting, I was, we were sitting, we could sit, it wasn't there, and then suddenly the little green, the Xbox green thing was there. It wasn't, it was. So she, anyway, last night I, um, this hair thing, and I was, she I went. the airbrush. <laughs> so she, she, my hair moved, and I was like, and I heard a whisper. And she, she went, no, so I went, what? I was about to say to you, I think I'm a child. I went, what? Because you just said child. I went, what? Thinking it was my daughter outside yeah. the door, just whispering because she might be told by her dad not to come and disturb me because um, I wasn't feeling well. So she... It's mad though because when I'm asking who the child is, I get child and I get sister. So I don't know whether or not you would have lost a child. I would not, be, not only it got two weeks miscarried kind of beyond that, I but. pick up sister, so I want to say that it's a child that your mother would have lost. My mother, I have a half sister that was the child that my mother bore to term, but my mother had several terminations. As what? Uh, uh, my, the one that my mother bought to the old, my older sister, but she is like my older sister, she's not my mother. <laughs> my mother's very Is she this side? Yeah, she's, um, she's my mum's. Um, she's yeah she is this side this this woman's that side yeah this woman i want to sit i had a set bought me by my great grandmother and it's um like one of those fancy mirrors that you would hold 
yeah. um, in your hand, yeah, yeah, and you've yeah. got like the Before. mirror with the little pretty picture yeah. at the back of it and that. Um, and I also get like the hairbrush, but I want to constantly sit and do this. Wouldn't be so. Sister. This may be someone that my mother's sister could be. It's more likely because it'd be more likely to be that generation. My mother is eighteen. Well, this so. is who I, I'm. <sighs> I don't know, but let me finish the story quickly. She she said night night to me three times. So she said the first time, and I went, what? Well, you know what and three times went, means, don't you? You know what the, the three symbolises? In this particular... is the trinity. That's okay. the highest level of protection you can get on a psychic level. And that... I don't know enough about up. being... About I am in my seventh year. Right. right. I've literally just got in my eighth year. Well, it'll be eighth year in about another two months. Yeah, but you could be seven. I've got Laurie... the representation of the three... Right. that's come into my life this yeah. year and I checked up on it and it came up about the no number three is the trinity right. and it's about basically keeping your numbers small so that you're protected yeah. um make sure that anytime you do anything like on a spiritual level you do it with the trinity in mind so the protection yeah. of three I don't know you might be able to have to want to advise both of us more about like the doing something in threes that maybe we could do as an actual protection. Oh, there's hundreds of things in threes, aren't there? Because yes. how threes. the threes came up to me was me, Dwayne and Emma had started doing videos, like, and going and doing ghost hunts and stuff. And the three kept coming up. The number three was on the TV. It was on the, like, Every time I looked at anything, the number three was there. And it was like, right, I'm going to read up on this. And the fact that it was the three of us, and it kept coming up after I mentioned it, that's what made me go and have a look at it, and it came up about the number three is about Trinity. Yeah, well, you know, there's um, always three. There's, there's meant to be always three witches. But I see. I always do everything on the fours. Uh -huh. oh, there's three of us in here. That's why I want to get. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> but there is. There's meant to be. There's meant to be the mother, the maiden, and the hag. <laughs> see, I always have known it as the fours, the four corners, the four. Yeah, there's the four corners. corners the two, there's the yeah. three. There's the three. See, I don't witches in three. Yeah. Coven of three. Maiden. Hag and, and yeah. Maiden, Mother and Crone. That's one, Maiden, Mother and Crone, thank you. Maiden. Um, you can make your own decision about which is which. Yes. But there's also the the well. whatever you do will come back on you thrice. Yeah. 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 There's three yeah. Is so a I massive live by karma, mate. I, I yeah. don't give anything out. Well, you know like, that's because I know that it'll yeah. come back on me three times fold, like but yeah. Yeah. Then it just Anyway, the point is that, yes, I said what, and I, I, as, as a total, not a non-believer, but not someone that I was thought of as myself, um, I, I then said what, and she went, no, no, not me. And I, I went, are you fucking out there? One of you. <laughs> and I went to the door, I opened the door, no one there. So I shouted down the corridor, to went, I was like, say, Celeste, where are you? Who's my daughter. Uh, you see stars, moon, Celeste, Celestial. Um, and Keith, she's in here. Uh, well, has she been up here? No, she hasn't left here. And it was a girl's voice. It couldn't have been my son. He's a sixteen-year-old boy. He can't whisper. He, he can't whisper like that. And it wasn't her. No. And, and I live in a small area. I, I, know, I live on a boat. I mean, so I, she, she can't. <laughs> so there's no way anyone. No, it wasn't one of the dogs. <laughs> I feel you've been on this boat a long time, and this is the first time you've heard it as well. So it isn't something that's um, connected to the boat. We, we've never we've wanted to live on the boat for a long time. We actually moved on to the boat relatively recently, but it was still several months. So it's right. Fine. See, when I but try and the girl's been moving my stuff around, then she has been with me for donkey years. See, when I try and tune into it, I pick up the word sister, and I also pick up a young girl. I pick up tuberculosis as well, so I don't know if you might have had someone in the past that. Oh God, my, lots of people in my mum's family TB. My grandmother had TB, which she lived. Because um, there would be loads of people. I want to say this person's old, but I also get young because when I look at the the person herself, and I've just seen someone go phew, right in front of you. Um, when I see the person, yeah, the girl herself, I see her as being young. When I look at the hair pieces like you know the bits that she's like it's like a dresser but i only see the three items i don't see the dresser yeah. i just see it on top of it but for me like the pictures i mean mine the now little, the my little girl's had been when 99 when she passed away and she passed away a good 10 years ago so so i want to say this this woman would be a hundred years a hundred years old in that life 
but she was only young. I want to say eight or nine. She was young. I want to say eight or nine when she passed on, and I get tuberculosis, and I feel cough, okay. cough, 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 and I also feel pneumonia. So it went from so one to talking, another. That's that's <coughs> more than possible. I mean, you know, kids. and she's identical to you. So there, there's a. In which case, she's my mother. My there's grandmother's a close, side. close connection. She's my gra- that means that is my grandmother's side. <coughs> that's her because um, I have a. What I have. I pearls? have a. I have a. What were the pearls that got given to you? When someone passed, I'm getting pearls, or or pearls would have been relevant to someone. Yeah, my grandmother. This woman is represented to that woman because I get pearls. Okay, so it's something to do with my grandmother. I would say so. Yeah. Um, I also want to say a ring that would have had a pearl in it, but there's two stones next to it. There's something different. But it's, it's what's zirconia? Yeah, cubic zirconia. I don't know what it is. Fake diamond. Like a diamond, but it's not diamond. That's what I get on the side of it, but I get, like, the middle stone would have been... A pearl or other a, a pearl. A pearl, yeah, but it would have only been half. So it was set, huh? if that makes sense. It wasn't like a big fashion. chunky thing. It's something that's been cut mm. and polished. I'm not good, you know me, I'm not good with my stones. I know them to look at, but I don't know them to yeah. um, actually say what they are. But... When I'm seeing this, it, you know, like pearl is like smooth and that yeah. lot, and it's the same colour. This I'm looking at, it's got loads of different tiny little colours in it. It's white. Opal, maybe? Opal, that, yeah. Opal, I want to say. Or mother of pearl. Yeah. Of course. That could be mother of pearl, yeah. Because mother of pearl looks Because mother of pearl is all different. It's the only dainty. Yeah, because, and I want, because, because, because the fact that, that pearl, I'm getting representation to the wedding finger as well, I would have said that it would have been the ring that she would have worn on that finger. I'd have to ask my mother, she's not, she's not. Well, I was no, just about to say mom. to you, it hasn't gone to you yet. It's to come to you, so your mum must have that. My mum would that be, but it's not my mum's mum, that's the thing. It's, you see, all the kind of, that kind of family history is my mum, mm-hmm. um, the spirit, more spiritual sort of thing is, is my mum. Have you got something similar to it in your bag? I keep getting reference to No, I promise you I haven't. Nothing like that. Oh, oh my God, Chris. Look at that. What? Yeah. Oh fuck! That's similar to what I'm seeing. Yeah, As in the stone. Mm. I just noticed yeah. that as you yeah, turn it around, right, it's like, oh, <laughs> that's all the colours I'm seeing. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, with the face. Little face, little yeah. girl's face, look. Little girl's face, yeah. <laughs> My dad bought me this. Then I'm gonna stick with the ring came from that girl. There's some connection. Well, this bag came from my dad. It wouldn't have come from the girl because she would have been too young. But yeah. it's. Whoever that ring right, is. It was meant to go to her, is, maybe, or it was her. It may have been, yeah. I, I feel it's more connection to that ring of that's who this person's connected to, family-wise. So if you can find out about the ring, then you'll find out which side of the family that this person comes from. Well, my mother's big on rings, so she would, she, if she did, didn't do a ring, my mother would know about I, I do get with... With I, I said just a minute ago, didn't I, that I feel that this is like still to come to you, and I do feel that it's yeah. with your mum, so... My mum's not really big on telling me bits of history like that, though. Unfortunately, she's not she's not as complimentary as she used to be. To be fair, that's probably... Because I'm actually asking, like, um, you know, take me other places, take me where else, and I don't get the feeling of want to go anywhere else, so that would make sense with your mum, if she's not able to receive a message or not quite a hundred percent she's 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 been obviously in a lot of pain and unwell and has never truly embraced her ability right okay it's sort of always been a peripheral thing because it's nuts isn't it <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? It's, it's a shame because i try to influence anyone if i find that they've got a child that's gifted to actually encourage mm. them from their childhood yeah because i ended up in prison i ended up in the mental hospital and everything over the fact that huh. i was made to believe that i was nuts schizophrenic bipolar and i ended up going nuts yeah because i felt it was believed My it, you know, believed what i was told yeah. and when i look at it now i think if i had been encouraged in the actual psychic work how advanced would i be now with what i've already got do you know what i mean but i didn't i wouldn't yeah. have that nut stage and that's where yeah. where you were saying, like, you keep feeling like, you know, people think I'm nuts, I'm nuts, I'm nuts. That's your hang-up. Oh, God, 
Oh that God. is what you need to let go of. And that's what I was saying earlier before we got in the conversation of like your hair being touched and that. Mm. Is you need to let go of the stigma mm. of what people around you have convinced you. It? And it's only because at the end of the day, all it is is a culture thing. Yeah. That's why it's difficult to accept it. And that's why it's difficult for the brain to accept mm -hmm. it is because if you'd been taught it all your life, you'd yeah. understand it. You'd yeah. know it. It wouldn't be scary. No. But because of the fact you've only just stepped into it or it's only just stepped into your life. Yeah. All of a sudden it's like, oh, well, I you get to icy dead people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've only accepted it myself in the last seven years. And there's the number mm. seven again. So I know the number seven is relevant to you. We need yeah. to look up the number seven. I, I know what it means, but I can't, because my brain doesn't hold information. Yeah. It holds pictures, it holds music. But I read a book, I'm going to tell you 10 minutes later. Like, do you, you know hear music? I, mean? I do get music. I had a party last night. Did I swear you? there was a party going on. We were, I live on a boat, right? So I, I'm lying in bed last night, and I'm like, who the f I can hear a girl, a male, a man, woman talking, but it was on, on the edge of my hearing. So just when you can't, like they're in the next room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bloody, they wouldn't, they can't, and then there'd be music in between. And I, I got up and looked, I, I opened the door, no one there. I don't know if I have powers taking a pen. I looked, I looked up with them. The, you the fuck, da, 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 he take, yeah, take the piss. Of course he take the piss out of me. <laughs> I put the bloody wind curtains. The blue jab you I put the bloody curtains to check that next door <coughs> weren't outside their boat and got music playing or something. Nothing. Nothing. Nobody. All bloody night I had that. All night last night. I didn't get to sleep till seven o'clock this morning mm -hmm. until I went and got Keith and said, They're you... trying to get your attention. Just a bit. So you need All to night, be. You I had, need to I be. I thought Keith was outside the door shouting, Oh shit! And I was opening the door and he's down still in bed. In his also, bed. With, what I get with you is the same as me. So I don't know whether or not. You've discussed it, but I feel that you might have about anxiety with you. Yeah. When you're doing this and when you're getting it, you'll notice your hands sweating and like feeling quite jittery. Yeah, but I'm stuck but I also get with you as well boring. days without realising that you're being contacted. Oh, that you yeah. do have manic days. But not <laughs> as in manic as in like depressive. What I feel is like you'll be like, oh, I've got to do something. Got to get and what I feel is, is that you need to do what I do. If you're picking up on something or you're feeling something or you're hearing something, you need to write it down. I also get with you dreams. So I know that you get a lot of dreams that... Like, I don't remember them. Um, I, I scream in my sleep and everything. This, I get may, of them. this may be then something that might start happening during your awakening. Because mine... Well, I, I, say, well, I, I can't it, remember them otherwise. I get it more if, like, during my awakenings than when I do when I'm trying to shut down. So when you're awakening... When you get up and you have your dreams, even if it's the oh, the ones that you have as bits, you're waking up, or the ones you can have as you're any, any dreams, but anything that you can remember when you wake up, write it down as well. Because mm -hmm. even though you might only wake up and go, oh, I just saw a butterfly. That might be it. Might be nothing more. But I need representation to later on, you might actually meet someone and that, you know, whatever you've dreamt of or feel will be relevant to giving messages to other people. That's because I've got PTSD, though. I've got PTSD, that's why I have those dreams. I've got PTSD as well. <laughs> um, mine's from sexual abuse as a kid. Oh, mine's right? from fire, uh, being caught in a fire. Bloody <laughs> hell. I didn't pick up that. But then I have been... But I haven't got PTSD from it, that's my point. Yeah, but yeah. They say that, that I have PTSD in my scream, my screaming nightmares, which I don't, I don't remember, and the only reason I know about is, well, as Keith once said, I couldn't get... <laughs> He said, I couldn't get my phone quick enough to record it to put on YouTube, me screaming in my sleep. And, uh, yeah, funny half, thanks, Keith. Um, but I need to get him to write down what I'm saying because I don't have a clue. So he says, I'm having these terrifying nightmares where I'm screaming and See, I'm I... saying no and I'm, I'm talking about people's names I said, and all this stuff. I don't remember a thing about See, it. I don't pick up the fire with you. I mean, no, I, it, I don't think That would have been something that would have flagged up. It's not like, because it's deal. a big thing. Yeah. Well, it, 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 it is. Was. I had it's yeah, it is a big thing. Like, do you know what I mean? That that to me hasn't cropped up. For it not to have cropped up, and the fact that I don't see you anywhere on a like, if I've got someone that comes to me and they're on a level of needing healing to do with dreams or anything like that, I would have told you. I yeah. don't get anything with that with you. I think that you're you're having this drawing awakenings. 
I think that you're seeing things, but the fact that you're sleeping so deep, you're not actually remembering them. Like, yeah, I get bad dreams that you'll do sometimes. What might be wise to do, um, is I've been talking about you doing meditations. I get meditation with you, but not you haven't done it yet. I thought about it. So I, it's, I, it, I think it. that this might be a good way for you to be able to release some of that. So maybe get in, like Laurie does, um, you could get her into a meditative state where you're with her, couldn't you? And do yeah, the yeah. bit like the past life progression, but yeah. not on that level, on a on a I have done softer some meditation level. before. But... Mm-hmm. but what I pick up with you is on days where you've woke up and you've had a dream, you need to just sit down and write down. So even if you don't know what you're writing, just write it down anyway. Because it might just come out that, you might not, what do they call it? It's, it's something, isn't it, where... Automatic writing. Automatic writing. It means yeah. that the spirit, yeah. even though you can't remember the dream and that, like the, it might, you know, the way you're doing the writing and it's bringing it through. I mean, if you w- wanted to, just don't look at the paper and just, mm. do you know what I mean? And just see what they're bringing through. But my, my big thing is doing actions in my sleep. And I do mean doing actions like I poop in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but I don't, I, I, I had, I was doing this, I was in the car, actually driving down to the boat not long ago. I was in the car. I don't know what the dream was now, um, but I, I go into um. It's it's when I'm half asleep, mm. right? So when I'm half asleep, I get those just some kind of dozing off, or just when I'm waking up, I get very vivid dreams. But then obviously I've forgotten them like yeah. two days later. This is this is why you need to write them down because I forget them. Because I do it in the car, and so I'm like, there I am pretending to hoover in the car. And, I, and they're all laughing at me, <laughs> and I go, and then, but I'm aware of them laughing at yeah. me. I'm like, don't laugh at me. Yeah. Like probably like a kid, don't laugh at me. Yeah. And I'm hoovering. I can't remember what the fucking dreams about. <laughs> oh, so I know, so there's too. a lot of it re- um, yeah. suppressed meanings in dreams like this. You, you could have so many different levels of types of dreams. Yeah. For me, I have dreams that come true. So I dreamt about my son getting I've knocked over, yeah. and then I've had a dream um, of like a baby that got saved and not like happened that I happened to be there in my sleep. I do believe in astral projection, though, as well. So I believe when you're asleep that your soul goes from one place to another. It sort of goes... You know, like, when you get deja vu and that? I've noticed a lot with deja vu, it's about protecting yourself, like, in a situation. Mm. I find if there's a situation where I go, go on, deja vu, I have to watch my surroundings on that day. I have to be like, what's going on? That's a bit yeah. a shift. But what I've noticed I've is... I've I'm just five that I really think you're... But maybe I've had more than that and I don't even realise what I what I've started doing is is where I've started writing it down and cross referencing it. I am actually finding that I am on su- a, a subconscious level, even when I'm awake. I'm astral projecting sometimes, and I don't even realise I'm doing it. Like it's only because of the fact that I've started writing it down that I've actually started noticing that this deja vu isn't just deja vu. I'm actually getting references to parts of the dreams that I've had as well like they're not always connected so I could have like one paragraph from one dream one paragraph from another you know like well how does that make sense that that those two bits from those two separate dreams make sense to what's going on in my life but nothing else does but then all of a sudden within a couple of days some uh, the other two things from it will fall in place it's, it's really weird was to... that really child dream no no um ask if it was small it is small, but it's not. It's a little. It's bit. tiny. Yeah, it's delicate. I would say. I mean, I, my fingers are quite tiny. No, I, anyway, I lost a ring like that. I lost a ring like that when I was little. Did when you? I was young, like a ten, little, you know, small, smaller fingers. So it little, makes a sense to you ring. now. Yeah, which my mum had bought me. Lost it in the bathroom. Left it behind. Took it off. You know, I was too young to have it. In fact, I don't think I was even ten. I was probably like seven. You know, I was young, young, like not old enough to have it. My mother would spare. <laughs> Absolutely spare, and it was it was it was cubic zirconia, but like, like the, and the central of it was. That's how I see it. That's all I can remember. Like, yeah, 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 little tiny a delicate thing. Shape, yeah, and then yeah. two little. Might have been open too, actually. Like, it was opal with cubic zirconia. <coughs> I don't know if. Uh, I can get that in close enough. Yeah, and it, was it, t- it, was, it was a little, it was a little opal, not even as big as my fingernail. Yeah, little tiny seed, little tiny cubic zirconia inside of it, set in silver. All right, can wait. That's the dog in the toilet. Oh. Everyone's just stood back. I feel that everyone's just gone, I've done that. Oh, right, so she's like, fucking you know yeah, right. I feel with her that she's had her say, and she's... The only thing that I keep... I'm asking... I mean, I always ask, do I need to give you anything for health? I give her you that. I was told about yeah. your legs. You need to do, like, some walking and that to keep your legs going. 
everything else there missing. I'm asking, do I need to give you any information, children, husband, anything on any grounds? Nothing. So everything I know is fine there. All I keep getting representation to is the spiritual side for you. So I know that this is very big for you at the minute. And I know it's something I that you to really do last need. Night about it. You do need to get into this. To be fair, I see that your dreams will... It was, is it angst? Like, angst yeah. die down. Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. As, as you're, like, sort of opening more... I feel that you'll actually relax more and won't get such intense dreams. You need to write them down, as I said. We've talked a lot about doing diaries, and I feel for you that you do need to do a diary of like what you're picking up on a daily I have basis. Back, I have as well. to get past my own inhibitions about that, because that's me going. Really yeah, well, I'm, I'm the same. I, Laurie will tell you. I mean, what you've been telling me for nearly a year, isn't it? Like, yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do. No, mine's more, the, later, mine's more like, that whole the conversation. <laughs> I said to you last night when I was I was younger, I was asked to write a factual story. A factual story of a homework. What's factual? Um, uh, uh, something that's actually happened. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, and got told off for writing a fictional story because I wrote about seeing my aunt who was dead. Right. And I'd seen my aunt. We moved into the house. Oh, long story. I won't bore you with it. But she passed away several years before. But I knew her well. Gentle soul, lovely lady, um, and um, very gentle soul. You know, always said like a background figure, but actually a wonderful person. Kind, gentle, generous. You don't get fifty p's out of the piggy bank with a pad. You know, those little long, <laughs> old-fashioned piggy bank. You just smash him. You don't let smash it. Let's get fifty p's out. Um, always think of her when I see a piggy bank with a rose on the side. <laughs> and, she, and, and I saw her. In her bedroom, but it was now my dad's study. And um, I wrote a story about it. And, oh, God, I didn't have to get into trouble for that. <laughs> Writing a fictional story instead of a factual one. Who was that for? Yeah. That was at school. Ah. It didn't occur to me. I just wrote this this factual story. As I do, you know what's, do you know what's just come to me as you said that? Mm. You remember the conversation of my stage fright? And you said, did you ever poo yourself when you were younger? And I said, yeah, actually, I did. I remember leaving school. And I remember that I messed myself and I had to walk home and it was a white dress. Oh, and, no. You know, it, it, and that's what we discovered was actually part of my stage performance, yeah. wasn't it? Because if I go on stage, I have to have about 10 poos before I go on stage because I'm yeah. so anxious. But I just got a flashback into that when you said that then, as if there's some anxiety there. Oh, yeah, no, that's totally like, it. That's, that was it. That was it for me. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, you yeah. don't see you don't see things you don't hear things no you you don't don't hear things that's like smelling that's like smelling kippers so yeah. you're not there isn't it you know that, that's well, that's what I'm and it's funny because I think that that's probably an anxiety thing with me as well because mm. I was always put down to school because I can't read yeah. and write properly because I'm so dyslexic and they didn't pick up on it my friend is dyslexic also a great believer in spiritual things but but has been just been diagnosed with multiple personality disorder um, yeah right she, she, because of what she sees, etc., etc. Um, that's what they've tried to tell me. That's what she's told. I'm schizophrenic. I don't, I, I personally, I don't believe it. I don't. I, believe don't believe I, I, I actually spoke to you, didn't I, and said I wanted to do more research into people with bipolar and schizophrenia. And I am bipolar like because I think it is. I don't think that it exists. I don't. It exists as in like what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're feeling, you're sensing. But it's not a mental issue. It's not a mental health issue. We're not the mental. Is, but we so are maybe not there mental. Is, there is a, yeah, but maybe is there a section that maybe are? The reason yeah. that there's, there's we, people have got things wrong with them. The reason yeah. that we believe we're mental is because that's what we've been told. Yes. Like, we've been made to believe that it doesn't exist. But yet it makes me laugh because for years they preach the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. and the Holy Ghost. What the Trinity? <laughs> yeah do you know what i mean how the, the reason that if you actually look at the bible it says in the bible that hundreds and thousands of years ago we all had the ability and we all spoke to angels and that it was because of the fact of our own selfishness of wanting to do our own will wanting to do our own thing that they were like well bollocks to you that the power you're gonna go and do your own thing i'll leave you to it and when you're ready to come and look for me we'll talk then and it's mad because I'm seeing two little cherubs as I'm saying it in the cupboard there. But like I I actually said to like someone recently that I you know when it says that there's this Armageddon and that the, there's going to be this big thing where God's going to come again. For me, if God was to come and walk right here now and say, "Hey, yeah, I'm God," he'd be locked up. Yeah. Fuck it, he would be locked up and yeah. not believe. Do you know what I mean? 
Have and you watched Family Guy? I would believe Jesus being on earth now. For me, who else would you believe? If you don't believe in God as well, because you've been told that he's a bad word. And, and I went to a convent. And this, that, and you're there. I'm, I'm a convent girl. I was brought up by my grandmother, a church, <laughs> yeah. a church going lady, member of the women's yeah. committee and all that stuff. My grandfather, um, British Legion, Royal Legion, British Legion. Yeah. That dude, our president. Um, all of that. I was brought up with church, big style. Yeah. But I'm nuts if I hear if I if I, if I can if hear people hear, talk. Yeah. And and it's yeah. um yeah. But yet the Bible states that we all had the ability, yeah. and we all had the ability of telepathy and that as well. I mean, like the only reason we don't use it now is because we've got too much technology to do it for us. <laughs> but going back years ago, we all we all like when you say, "Oh, I had in such and such for like days on end, or months, or weeks, or years," then all of a sudden they'll turn up. That is your higher self, like do you know what I mean? And their higher self. Can you like, ask, stop keeping me awake now. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, last night at seven o'clock this morning I went to sleep. They've yeah. done all, and it's not. Well, they, I never realised it's all the stuff about voices in your head, isn't it? Yeah. But it's not. It's not. You know the voices in your head. Are the so ones you know what you should have done last night was you should have wrote it down because you'd probably had messages for me. I couldn't hear me. them properly. I could not, for the love of God, I, hear them. That's why I write it down because some of the times I don't hear it, I sense it. So I sense a mum figure or I sense like. What I'll get as well is, like, um, when you're first starting out, if you want people to give you senses, say to your nan, I want you to give me this feeling when it's someone else's nan. So then you'll get the feeling. Right. Like, when I was talking to you about your nan yeah. to start so with. So I can actually understand. And I was saying, like, right. I get representation to my nan, and she shows me her hands, so I know that she would have worked with her hands. Yeah. All that sort of thing. Um, once you get used to it, you'll naturally just feel it. But... When you're first doing it, like, you're right there, Mum. She's <laughs> <laughs> a cat with a little cow. <laughs> She's just turned the light off as well. All right, are you trying to hint, Evan? Well, do you know what? I'm actually <laughs> getting that Spirit are ready to close down, so I will yeah, shut yeah. this off in a minute. I'll just say one thing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, if they I want a fag as well. The dog needs That's the way, so. But they, the, the voices are not, yeah, they're not in your head. No. In no. the next room. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I've, you know, been told for years I'm schizophrenic, I'm bipolar. I'm like, what makes me laugh is they're like, well, who are you talking to? And I'm like, myself. And I'm like, well. Yeah, the voice... Well, are you not hearing, like, are you not talking to other people? No, I'm talking to myself. But something is talking to me through myself. I don't see, the way and I try and explain that to a psychiatrist, yeah, doctor, yeah. and that. But I do they have... still can't see it. They're, they're to them, they've got all these little demons going. But I do have voices in my head. Do you know what I mean? I have voices in my head which are me talking to myself. Yeah. 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 I'm just talking yeah. to other bits of me. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, there's my angry bits and my happy bits, and I go, what the fuck is that? And the other bits of me goes, how do you find that? If you don't fucking know, how am I meant to know? Yeah. 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 That kind yeah. of thing. I've got that in my head, but these voices are in the next room. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm to another One thing that I've just started doing um, is having to recognise my ego. Now, your uh, ego yeah. basically will talk you out of a lot of things. Yeah. And it will convince you of all the shit that you've been given all your life as tools that it doesn't exist. It's not yeah. real and this, that and the other. And that's the first step of like where you need to be at the minute is starting to deal with that ego. So... How I've started doing it from, I've watched some like self um, help lesson like things on, I, I think I might have sent you the ego one, I'm not sure, because I showed it you that that's what I'd watched, wasn't it? Mm. Um, but what I had to do was start distinguishing what was my thoughts and what was someone else's. Yeah. And the reason being is, is last year I had a situation where I picked up on two suicides, but I thought they were my own. And it was only because the fact that the one suicide, basically, there was something else within that person that had right. happened within their life um, that caused them to get where they are. But I was also picking up on that as well. Yeah. And it was only after the person passed away that I was like, it makes perfect sense why I was getting that feeling as well as that feeling. Right. Because basically, I kept getting a feeling of wanting to fall out of a window. And the person that passed away yep. before committing suicide had actually fallen out of a window when she was younger, and that's what led to her suicide. Right. So, it, but up till then, I was convinced, when I long, that it was my own suicidal thoughts and that lot. And I was trying to commit suicide. I tried to commit suicide all my life, 
it's only in the last year that I've like started watching different bits and learning different bits. I've looked into it that I'm like I'm an empath and I'm actually not feeling that. That's not my feeling. So now what I have to do, say like if I got up today, well like yesterday, the last three days I've been feeling suicidal, but I know it's not me because I feel quite happy. So it's like. Well, why am I feeling suicidal? Why am I feeling like this? Why am I, ooh, at my wit's end? Then I have to say, right, well, okay, this isn't for me. I've, like, you know, obviously going to have contact with someone or I'm going to speak to someone where there's suicide connected or related to. At the minute, I'm actually going through three situations with suicide. I've got a friend of mine that's been trying to commit suicide, a, f a friend of mine whose nephew's just passed of suicide, and then obviously suicide came up with this and your friend that also a couple of days ago yeah. tried to commit suicide but if i hadn't have known that i'd have tried to commit suicide in the last three days like yeah, you, would. you would have assumed it was i would have assumed because anything in your head must um, be about yeah. you yeah and this is where the doctors need to start understanding is that yeah like you know i can see why they think i'm schizophrenic and bipolar when i fact that i want to kill myself but yet it's not my fault and i'm absolutely happy but Try and explain this to them. Try and get them in a room and say, well, actually, I'm picking up on three different people, three lots of suicide. This, they'd still have me knocked up as nuts. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of those. It, yeah, but I'm going to shut off all of a sudden. I've just gone completely. Yeah, but, you're going to be knackered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, guys. Well, I uh, hope you got something from this. Um, and you can see like, how I work. And we'll get back to you tomorrow with another video with... Um, some other people, right? Uh, nice speaking to you. Bye.